What's going on guys, Lon here from Android Authority and the Axon phone is a powerhouse of a phone on the spec sheet, but how does it compare to one of the best flagships on the market right now? This is your quick look of the Axon phone versus the Samsung Galaxy S6. It's not too often that we see smaller OEMs go head to head on the design front with major smartphone makers like Samsung, but that's exactly what we're witnessing today. Placing form over functionality, Samsung really ramped up its design language with the Galaxy S6, making it one of the most attractive smartphones on the market. With that said, the brand new Axon phone may give it a run for its money when it comes to design. Although these are both extremely premium feeling devices, it's easy to spot the differences between the two right away. The Axon phone features an industrial design language thanks to its sleek metal body and unique front facing speaker grills. This device does its best to offer up a heavy duty aesthetic without sacrificing its classy look and feel, which will translate well for those in search of the best of both worlds. While it doesn't feature too many design elements that help it stand out from the crowd, the Axon phone is still a really great looking device that will probably catch the eyes of many consumers out there. On the other hand, the S6 is one of the best designed smartphones Samsung has ever produced thanks to its aluminum frame that surrounds two panels of Gorilla Glass 4. There's no mistaking that this is a Samsung device through and through, largely due to the tactile home button up front, which is flanked by the typical capacitive recent apps and back buttons. Both of these devices feel very substantial in the hand, although the Axon phone is clearly the larger of the two in pretty much every dimension. Much like comparing the latest from Samsung with, say, the all-metal HTC One M9, your decision to go with either phone will depend a lot on which material you like better, metal or glass. Both the Axon phone and the Galaxy S6 offer up an impressive Quad HD resolution display, but the Galaxy S6 may be the one for you if you're looking for a more compact form factor. Featuring a 5.1 inch display with a pixel density of 577 PPI, Samsung's offering comes with a Super AMOLED panel that might entice more users with its vivid colors and great viewing angles. But for those who are looking for a bigger display, the Axon phone will do the trick with its 5.5 inch TFT LCD panel. Even though this device's 534 PPI isn't quite as high as the pixel density found on the S6, we'd still wager to say that the Axon phone will be a great option for viewing videos and playing games. When it comes to under the hood specifications, Samsung's S6 really impressed us thanks to its in-house Exynos 7420 processor with 3 gigs of RAM. Performance has been absolutely fantastic with this device, especially when it comes to switching between apps, gaming, and web browsing. On the other hand, the Axon phone feels really fast as well. It comes with a Snapdragon 810 CPU backed by a massive 4 gigs of RAM, along with the popular Adreno 430 GPU. Performance seems great so far, and the stock-like software experience is definitely a contributing factor. Both devices feature non-removable batteries, and in Samsung's case, this has proven to be quite the downfall. The S6 only features a 2550 mAh cell, which has failed to impress us in our time with the handset. Obviously, we'll need to spend some time with the Axon phone to test battery life in full, but the larger 3000 mAh unit has us feeling hopeful. Where the Galaxy S6 gets the leg up is in storage. Neither one of these phones comes with micro SD card expansion, but the Axon phone only comes in a 32GB configuration, which may not be enough for some people, whereas the Galaxy S6, you have the option of 32, 64, and 128GB, so if you need more storage, the Galaxy S6 is definitely the way to go. And because of the Axon phone's metal chassis, wireless charging isn't supported. However, if you're looking for the added convenience, the S6 supports both PMA and Qi standards. The Galaxy S6 boasts one of the best smartphone cameras on the market thanks to its crystal clear 16 megapixel rear facing shooter with optical image stabilization. It consistently produces clear, well balanced images both indoors and out. The camera app is quick, simple, and offers up tons of controls for those who like to tinker with each shot. The Axon phone, on the other hand, comes with a 13 megapixel rear shooter and, interestingly enough, features a secondary 2 megapixel lens. 
Just like the One M8 from a couple years ago, the dual lens helps to capture depth information, provide for faster autofocus, and the ability to refocus shots after the fact. With an aperture of f1.8, the Axon phone should be really great in low light, and that's something we'll be really eager to test out. With the software, the Galaxy S6 runs Android 5.1 Lollipop with Samsung's TouchWiz UI on top, and it's actually very pleasant to use. Samsung toned down its software experience with the S6, which not only helps with the device's performance, but also gives the user an all-around better experience with the device. There are still a boatload of Samsung software features built in that many users might not be too fond of, but this new version of TouchWiz is still the best Samsung has ever put out. In contrast, the Axon phone really couldn't be any more different from a Samsung handset. It runs Android 5.1.1 Lollipop out of the box with a near stock Android experience. There are a few pre-installed applications like Argus and Rock My Run for tracking your fitness and a few extra features, but the interface does a really great job of preserving Google's material design aesthetics. So far, the software experience has been speedy and easy to use and will probably be a more attractive option for those looking for a simpler user interface interface. With the Axon phone packing so much great hardware inside and out, it's going to naturally be compared to many of the major flagships out there, especially the ones who have made a name for themselves, and it's going to be very interesting to see how Axon fares from this point forward. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up down below and also subscribe to the channel, which is also down below if you haven't already. And if you want to get more in-depth coverage here from us at Android Authority, make sure to check out the website, androidauthority.com, because we are your source for all things Android.